Hello again cutie. So I am just showing you guys how I applied my McCart coffin tips to these nails and I've been experimenting with nail tips to insert into my practice hand. So I'm going to do a couple more videos and if it's still working out for me just like this set worked out I am going to show y'all exactly how I did that. So I'm just going to shape those tips up and get some base coat on it get it cured and I'm going to show y'all how to create a, an extended nail bed with builder gel. So taking this custom mix, which is pretty much IBD builder gel and some nail polish that I picked up at Sally's, I'm gonna take my time and work on this pinky and show y'all exactly how to create this nail bed. I'm gonna be working in very small beads. So cuties, make sure y'all like this video. If you guys are new, please consider subscribing and becoming a part of the cutie family and stay tuned for more fun videos because I post every, every Tuesday, every Tuesday. So in the spirit of Valentine's day, you guys, I'm going to be doing a semi all pink set. So basically what I'm going to do here is take my time and get a nice slip layer around this nail bed area and I'm going to extend it out taking my time to work that very nice small bead and I'm going to be using small beads each time so I'm not making this nail bed area too bulky. I'm keeping in mind my application near the cuticle so that is also not too bulky because if you have a bulky cuticle area you're probably going to get some lifting. So you guys I was so proud of myself doing this set. I just want y'all to know that your girl is getting a lot better. And if you think that I'm getting better compared to my very first videos, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Number one about this set and number two about my application process. So back to this nail bed, you guys. Again, another small bead I'm going in. And as I go in with these beads, you're going to see that color start coming through a little bit more. Now, in person, this color is so much more pink than it shows up on the camera, but it still looks cute. So after putting these two layers on, my third and fourth layer, I'm going to do it in a reversed method. And you guys can see that here so that way I can create that wall so when I go into crisping up that smile line I have something to place my file again so that way I can file that smile line into that nice crisp shape. Now you see me taking my time to be careful near that cuticle area. And again, y'all, I was so proud of myself because usually when I do this, I go in with too much product and make it too bulky, but I have to keep in mind sometimes, you know, patience, take my time and not try to go so fast. And I, it was more exhilarating to do this set because I was taking my time as opposed to when I'm trying to rush through it to get a video done. Cause y'all already know about me. I don't like, you know, going days on end trying to create a video. And number two, I have to get these videos out because I am getting ready to go to professional military intermediate level education. It's a school that I have to go to for my specific trade and specialty. And unfortunately, because it's like a graduate level school, I'm not going to be able to comment on these on these um, videos as much as I would like to. So please don't feel like I am not seeing you guys's post because I'm not responding. I'll pop in there. I'll probably just drop a heart. I may not comment back, even though I love to comment back, but my time is going to be taken up for the next two months with all of this homework and reading and papers and stuff that I'm going to be writing for this school. So please just give me time. I'm still going to pre-record a bunch of videos to make sure that there's enough content for you guys to watch. But yes, I'm going to be in school and I'll just drop a heart so that way you know I did read your comments.
If you were wondering, those little spoolie things um, for the striping tape, I got those from Wish and I saw some on Amazon as well. So if you want to hop over to Amazon and purchase some, by all means do so. So this neon pink, isn't that pink so, so, so pretty. I'm just going to go ahead and outline that smile line and I'm sorry for the blur here, you guys. Um, my phone was doing something weird at this time, but I'm just going to outline that smile line so that way we're able to see it when we're looking at this beautiful set. And I'm just going to bring it down to the rest of the nail so that way there is some type of background color because I'm going to be doing some marbling with some gel polishes. And to do the marbling, I didn't want it to be super thick. So I basically bloomed it out with some top coat to kind of like spread it across the nail um, throughout the, the application process without having a whole bunch of it just blobbing in one area. Now that that's all done, I'm basically just taking a bunch of different gel colors that I have and I swirly swirl it around and now I'm going to apply my top coat. I'm going to scoop those colors up on the tip of an additional gel brush that I have and I'm just going to let it glide onto that nail into that wet top coat so it can bloom a bit on its own. As usual cuties everything that I do I go ahead and cure for 30 seconds and once I'm complete with all of the nails I go in for a full 60 second cure we're gonna get these nails all encapsulated I'm checking the size I'm checking the tip to make sure it's a nice even flow of product from the cuticle all the way to the free edge sidewall to sidewall and then I am going to cure this for two minutes because I want that um gel polish everything that's on this nail to be nice and fully cured before i go into filing now it's time to get this filing complete um, first, I'm starting off with the sidewalls, making sure that that's nice and straight. Then I go across the free edge and I go across the surface of the nail to make sure that it's a smooth transition 
from the cuticle all the way to the free edge. After that, I'm going to get out my Melody Susie e-file with my extra fine carbide bit. I'm going to go around the cuticle and the surface of the nail at 15,000 RPMs to make sure that it's nice and buffed out. I'm going to flip the nail over. Sorry, I'm going to flip the hand and do some finished filing against the free edge to make sure that, you know, there's no issues. Everything looks nice and straight. I'm going to buff everything out and then we're going to get back with some nail art. I really, really like this carbide bit. Once I started using it at a higher speed as opposed to 4,000 RPMs, I noticed how buttery it glides across the nail and how smooth and even it makes everything. You guys can see how it's taking out of those big scratches from the nail file. So if you guys are interested, I got that from Amazon. I will make sure the link to everything that I'm using here is in the description box for your pleasure. Now I'm just taking some of my Savvy Land gel paint. Again, I mixed this with a little bit of base coat to thin it out. And I'm just gonna create a heart at the bottom of each of these strips. The reason why I encapsulated the striping tape is because I find that when you put it on the surface of the nail, I just don't like feeling any bumps or ridges on the top of the nail from you know nail art and stuff like that. Um, it's okay though, but I chose to mat it out and that's what we're doing here. I'm just making sure that that top coat goes around the nail. I'm just applying a little bit of my bling gel here, applying one little pink rhinestone and finishing off the look with my matte top coat from Model Ones. And this is what we ended up with. I thought it was super, super, super cute. Again, I'm gonna test out making these tips for my practice hand and if it works out I will do a video for you guys on how to do that and as always cuties I'll most definitely talk to you in my next one bye